plastic surgeon from Bangladesh, uh, but now I am working as an um, oncoplastic surgeon in UK for the last four years. And um, next year, I'm going back to Bangladesh to establish um and to work on uh, breast cancer care in Bangladesh. So um, yeah, this is my uh, project on um, how to develop um, and how um, uh, to develop a breast cancer care strategy in Bangladesh in a two-faced strategic way. So um, I worked with uh, Professor Mizanur Rahman. Uh, he is one of the oncoplastic surgeons back in Bangladesh and uh, Professor Golam Mohyuddin Faruqi. He is another professor in oncology. So I work with a Bangladesh National Can Cancer Council as well. Um, so this is my poster. And um, you now, first of all, the background. So Bangladesh is a low middle income country and it is one of the most populated um, country in the world. And, um, and it is the second leading cause of death before age of 70 years, according to WHO 2015. But I know that um, WHO 2020, the 21, they um, came to that the uh, breast cancer is the first leading cancer um, death um, worldwide. So in Bangladesh, there's very little attention has been given to cancer care. Um, so uh, I, the method of my um, uh, project was I uh, searched some literatures. Uh, however, there is no uh, level one or level two evidence-based data available in Bangladesh. And um, so I collected the data from neighboring countries like India and Pakistan, and also from uh, Global Can 2018 and WHO Cancer Re um, Country Report. Um, I also evaluated the resource um, evaluation from Bangladesh um, through the Can uh, National Cancer Council. And um, I also evaluated um, the different strategies on different low middle income countries in the world. And uh, finally, a resource stratified two phase implementation strategy has been uh, developed. Um, the result um, so, as I, as I mentioned before, that there are no um, uh, qualitative or quantitative epidemiological data available in Bangladesh. Uh, so there are major inequality of the available data, what we have available, so there is no equality of the data. And um, there is no population-based cancer registry. So we have uh, 164 million people um, in Bangladesh, and um, there are about um, 40,000 um, newly diagnosed cancer per year. And um, about 25% of the female cancer are breast cancer. And another um, very important thing we have noticed that the breast cancer diagnosis age group is about 40 to 49 during their reproductive age. And uh, most of this cancer presented in their later stage, stage three and stage four. It is about two this cancer diagnosed on that stage. And um, surprisingly, triple negative cancer also one third of the uh, diagnosis and um, we found the patient-related barrier like um, lack of awareness among the female. And um, uh, we found that um, one of the um, uh, literature reviewed that 33% of the uh, female in Bangladesh, they thought that uh, breast cancer is due to poor hygiene. Um, the second barrier is cultural and religious barrier uh, because um, it is a um, uh, uh, Muslim country, so um, uh, patient does not want to present male doctor. Uh, one um, uh, study done in Dhaka Medical College Hospital that um, the patient uh, self uh, felt a lump and then diagnosed and then presented to the doctor is about six months. So um, it's about six months be before they present to a doctor due to the absence of um, or uh, in, um, uh, inavailability of uh, female doctors. Um, there are social taboo uh, because a female health uh, concern is at the bottom of any um, 
uh, any health issues in a in a family. So uh, it would be like um, they don't present to the doctor until it is very advanced, um, debilitating. And as well as the cost of the cancer care is another um, barrier um, related to the patient. Health care barrier. Um, so as I said that we have 164 million people in Bangladesh and um, however, um, the GDP is spent on health care. Um, I think it is lowest um, in the world, is less than 1%. Um, and cancer treatment available only in 23 hospitals and um, a total cancer care bed is only 870. I'm not talking about just the breast cancer, it's the total cancer care bed. And uh, radiotherapy is available only in 23 center. Uh, and there we have um, oncologists about 200. And facility for immunohistochemistry is uh, available only in six centers. And a screening program for breast cancer is not available. However, uh, we have a robust community clinic, community service. Is, um, we have um, about uh, 14,500 community clinic um, in the grassroots level, as well as the primary health care center, about 425. And you have secondary health care center in every um, district in Bangladesh. Uh, so uh, now come to the strength of Bangladesh. Um, so it is said that the emerging economic tiger um, at this point, we have a persistent economic growth um, and uh, recent um, years, like last 20 years, we, we found a female education and empowerment. And uh, we also have successful in um, primary health care as well as uh, improved telecommunication and locally produced medication. All this uh, strength of Bangladesh we can actually um, uh, use for strengthening our breast cancer care. So there is a report published in the Economic um, uh, Journal in 2013 that uh, Bangladesh paradox is called an exceptional health achievement despite economic poverty. It has been um, um, uh, proved that due to the primary health care system, a uh, very robust primary health care system, and due to the immunization and um, uh, maternal and child health care improvement actually re reduced the child death and maternal mortality a, a significant amount. And so uh, we have developed our um, primary health care system um, during the last 25 years. So um, how we can improve our uh, breast cancer care uh, in Bangladesh? I, uh, we have proposed a two-phase strategy. In the first phase, we will use um, the existing healthcare facility. Um, uh, however, uh, at the beginning, we need to uh, make the policymaker uh, aware and declare uh, that cancer care, especially the breast cancer care, is a public health problem as well as uh, we can use our uh, primary health system to, uh, for the awareness um, uh, to the female about uh, um, their breast health examination as well as uh, clinical uh, breast um, downstaging by uh, clinical breast examination by the primary health care. And we need to start the population-based cancer registry as soon as possible. Um, as well as um, we need to start high quality research um, um, and to allocate funding. And um, so we use our primary healthcare system in this area and then we can develop that in, uh, we target the tertiary healthcare system where we already have a cancer care facility. So we can develop um, multidisciplinary breast clinic on this cancer um, uh, tertiary health system. And through this tertiary health system, we can do some outreach program in different districts in our first phase. The first phase will be, we can plan for uh, next five years. So this is uh, uh, the first phase. So we are um, targeting um, this uh, community clinic and primary health care center. These are the two areas we can work. And then tertiary health care um, center, we can develop the multidisciplinary breast clinic. And on the second phase, um, uh, we are targeting the secondary health care system in 
which is very accessible for the patient. And um, our plan is to develop at least 62 model breast unit on this um, a secondary healthcare system as well as uh, we will um, continue on developing the uh, cancer registry and scientific research. So in the second phase, we all will work on the secondary healthcare system. So this is all about my presentation. And um, so we uh, in Bangladesh, we are developing our economy very first. So we need to cast the flight of economic growth for cancer management as well. And we can use the, the same um, principle or strategy in other low middle income countries as well.